Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. It's 7.20 a.m. Prices of BTC currently at 84.24. All right, so let's get to the uh, Bitcoin analysis, okay? So, folks, um, first thing, obviously, I want you guys to recognize is, you know, our awesome members who have been seeing fantastic gains consistently uh, in our community. And I'm really happy for them because and they truly do work hard and they absorb as much of the knowledge and information that I provide. Okay. So if you are thinking that this is a community where you can just come in and, you know, take uh, quote unquote signals away, uh, this is not the community for you. All right. These people are working hard um, to be on the path of becoming successful, profitable and consistent traders. Okay. Nothing in life comes easy. You have to put in the work. All right. And this is the work that you have to put in. Uh, you'll have to watch my analysis every day. You'll have to watch my updates. You'll have to watch how I position myself, how I carry my risk from trade to trade, how I set up my target profits and my stops and my entry points and how I take profits consistently. Okay. I am a full-time trader. All right. And this is my system that I'm sharing with you. Okay. If you do not follow it and you venture off on your own and then you try to, um, you know, replicate my system in your own way, you're not going to be able to do it right away. Okay. It takes time, but I am trying to teach you how to do it properly. Okay. So if you just stay in the community, join the community, ask questions and see exactly what we're doing over time, whether it's six months or a year or two years, however long it takes, right? If you really want to be financially free, you should know that it comes with hard work. All right. And I'm going to help you with that. All right. I'm going to teach you exactly how I did it. Okay. I've been a trader for about 11 years now. I started off in the equity markets. I traded commodities starting about 2012 or so. And then I started trading Forex around 2014, 2015. I only got into crypto around 2000, mid 2016 or so. All right. And now, you know, crypto actually accounts for more than 60% of my day trading because in my opinion, I think it's the easiest market. It's not even a question that it is easier than the equity markets. And I wouldn't even compare it anywhere close to the Forex markets because the Forex markets are much, much more br brutal. Okay. There is no, you know, um, leeway. If you do not carry proper risk management in the Forex markets, you're going to get torched. You're going to give up all your money. All right. So, uh, in my opinion, I think crypto markets are much, much easier to trade. And I show you guys exactly how I do it. All right. Um, so again, we do have that 50% off discount special that we're still running till the end of the month. You have seven days. All right, folks, if I were you, I would definitely take advantage of this because I want to show you guys something. All right. Here's a trade when the rest of the world was trying to call a bottom for BTC. Here's how we entered. All right. We entered a trade at 86.40 yesterday on a short. All right. We had our stop right above this area right here. And we wrote this down about $250 or so. Okay. So you can see right here this morning, I took profit 83.88. Okay. Um, there's some of my proof right there. All right. Entry, exit. And here's another profit I took right around uh, 83.67 right there. Okay. So you can see, folks, that in our community, all right, it's, it's pretty clear how we. Uh, set up trades. Okay. How I show you guys exactly what I do. Again, none of this is financial advice because it would be illegal for me to do so. I can only tell you exactly what I'm doing. There's no law against that, right? So if you want to follow, you can follow. Um, and there's days where you're going to have losses, but there's days you're also going to have winners. And I try to make sure that our uh, winners are much bigger than our losers. Okay. So we went short, right? 
86.40 started exiting around 83.88, 83.60 or so. Um, and obviously our PL is about 30 to 32%, right? We also shorted maybe two days ago, okay? And here is a loss, right? Because I didn't feel comfortable in this trade. Uh, got in around 86.24, got out around 86.38. That was when um, this movement up was happening, I think, right here, okay? Or actually, I don't know if it was this movement. I forget exactly which movement. I think it may have been right here, okay? So I didn't feel comfortable right here, but I got out, all right? So for the most part, you can see that sometimes, you know, there's going to be positions that you take that are going to yield losses, and then there's going to be winners too. But we just try to make sure our winners are much bigger than our losers. Okay? It's a very simple formula, right? I mean, it sounds easy, um, but it's not easy. It's actually simple to understand. Okay, big difference, right? Uh, following simplicity requires a discipline, requires a controlling of your emotions. Uh, and that's something that we teach you in this community. You know, at the end of the day, if I cannot show you my winning trades and stuff, or say you're, you're not able to follow, at the very least, I'm gonna talk you off the ledge off your bad trades. And folks who are watching this YouTube video, I know that some of you are making these bad trades off FOMO, off panic buying, panic selling, because you're afraid to miss the bottom. You're afraid that you may not be able to short the top. I'm gonna to teach you exactly how not to worry about that. All right, so if you just come join and understand our system, you'll be free of two things. Okay, number one, you will not be trading like your old self anymore. Number two, your stress and your emotional baggage that you typically get that will be alleviated, okay? And that I can guarantee you at the very least, okay? You will not be coming into this community by having this high-strung, energy-ridden um, mentality where you are just taking five, 10 trades a day, all right? In the last four or five days, we've taken maybe two or three trades, all right? Because for the most part, I mean, all this garbage was just chop. What we were really looking for was a good entry for a long or a good entry for a short. We found a really great entry once the market started breaking down in terms of a short, um, shorted the market, and then rode this thing all the way down, took some beautiful profit right now, and now we're just sitting pretty for the rest of the day. That's it, okay? It's, it's, sometimes it's really that simple, all right? So anyway, folks, you know, enough talking about um, our community, but I do hope you guys come join 50% discount. One month is $50, three months is $150, which is a 50% discount from our original $100 per month. So I definitely hope you guys take advantage of this, all right? Okay, so let's get to the analysis, all right? So first things first, if you've been watching my videos, one thing I was waiting for was um, all these liquidity areas right here, these Xs to get taken, all right? And it didn't happen all the way up here. I was actually thinking that over around this area, it would go something like this and then push up okay but luckily we were able to get out around this area in our long okay and then we kind of just let go of the market let it do its thing and then you know this chop happened for like two or three days and then we were looking for a re-entry in this area all right none of it really you know um gave us a, a good indication of where price is going to go but then once we started seeing that price was really hovering around demand over and over again, right? What I essentially saw was, okay, it looks like this demand is getting weaker and weaker because every time we've come into this level, we are not able to sort of create a higher high or go further, okay? So this demand was just getting hammered. And so we took a trade, short trade, right? And now we're sitting in profit and now we need to figure out, okay, all these X's, the liquidity for the shorts, Oh, I'm sorry, the uh, long liquidity has been taken. So is that now enough to rip through all those X's over there and then push back up? Well, we'll see, right? We'll see how the market reacts around this area. If we spend, you know, maybe a good amount of time in this area uh, and then we start putting up, you know, higher lows and then maybe higher highs like this, uh, it might be time to maybe get into a long either over here or most likely over here. Once we start crossing above $8,600, I might feel a little bit comfortable uh, going long. But until then, um, I'm probably gonna look for pullbacks right here as potential shorting opportunities for, the, uh, for more downside, okay? So you're probably wondering, okay, where exactly does that downside stop? Well, let me pull up a different chart and show y'all, okay? 
First things first, what you need to notice is the Stoke RSI on the one hour chart right here and the RSI has bottomed, okay? And even the MACD has had its bear cross. That's on the one hour. Four hour, Stoke RSI is very close to bottoming. So more than likely we might be uh, coming close to an exhaustion in terms of selling, all right? Doesn't mean we can't kind of move sideways and grind down. But I do think that we're coming very close to a bottom, at least on the uh, four hour time frame. okay? Uh, even the MACD has made its uh, bear cross on the four hour, right? Okay, now here's where things get interesting, all right? If we start looking on the uh, one hour time frame, all right, notice that this area right here, this was really the distribution before the sell off. This was the first time we hit 8450. You guys remember that a couple days ago? or maybe like last week or so, all right? Let me show you all. That's this area right here, okay? This consolidation that happened right here was, where is it? All this right here, okay? All this and then all this sell-off, okay? So that was that three days of you know movement to the downside, okay? Now, what we do is we put a block around that because that was your previous distribution, right? So once previous distribution right there, consolidates right under it, breaks above, and then comes test that same area, as you can see right above that red block right here, as support, okay? So once we broke this area, which was that consolidation, above this key resistance, now we're going to look into that same area to give us some support because all these buyers right here, all right, are probably going to want to defend their position and same with these buyers, okay? So notice that that red block, we're coming right at the EQ of it, which is this white dashed line, okay? So it makes sense, right, at the EQ, which is around 83.30 or so, that we bottom close to it, all right? So far, we've put in a low of about uh, 83.53, okay? So maybe, you know, $20, $30 more, um, you know, of, of downside movement, and we might bottom out right here, okay? That's potentially what I foresee uh, in this area. We might, you know, even make a quick wick down, but then I think, um, ultimately, I think at some point we need to come back up, um, maybe to $85, $8,600. And if we're going to go down further, we'll probably use that area as resistance and then go back down further. Okay. So $8,330, $8,300 is my um, last target before a potential bounce back up. All right. And if we're going to sell off more then my final target, would probably be, all right, would probably be um, just the bottom of this wick right here, okay? Um, around 8,000, maybe 8,025 or so, okay? If we break past that, then it's probably gonna get a little bit scary. And that's really not something that I want to um, speculate on. I mean, you know, the thing is, I don't really want to think about the market going deeper because the last level that we need to keep in mind where price should not go under is this marker right here. Okay, notice the uh, bottom of this range high and the top of this range one right there. That's around $7,800, okay, this marker right here. Okay, so I'm okay with going all the way to that low, which is around, you know, 8,000, like I said, right? Um, but I'm not okay with going into this area where we had this consolidation, um, this you know six week consolidation before that move up. All right, this to me was a reaccumulation area, and price should not be accepted back into this area. What the bulls need to be doing is that as price bleeds down to this area, they need to start making a bottom out right here, okay, and then drive it back up. All right, give people a good scare thinking that we're going to go down here but really what's happening is we're going to go like this and then turn around all right that's i personally think that's how you trap the most amount of people when you start going like this accelerating down and then boom you make a sharp you know sideways turn bottom out right here more people start shorting and you use those shorters those late shorters as fuel to the upside and then we start making you know a higher high as per this um uh, local high okay but yeah I would not really want to see price re-enter this area. If we do, um, my bias, my short-term bias is completely changed because then what we will have done is gone something like this and like that. We've gotten re-accepted in this area. Boom, we'll probably get it rejected right here if that does happen. Um, and then I'd probably open a short with a stop above there and ride this thing down at the very least to 6,800. 
um, $6,400, and then maybe the $5,000 levels. But we're not even going to think about that for now, right? Because we're nowhere close to it. We need to take it, you know, $100, $200 at a time because there's so many levels in between, okay? So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Again, we are still positioned short, um, but I do think that the uh, uptrend, which is this low, higher low, higher low, and potentially another higher low, I do still think that it is still intact. Um, you know, after that 200 moving average rejection right there, uh, we do have the 100 moving average base right here, which is bottoming out. So that's also, if you notice, right around $8,000. Okay, so I'm hoping to catch that 100 moving average as a support. Okay, let's see here. Um, the cloud itself, all right. Um, I mean, I guess we could, let's see here. I guess we could meet the, uh, the 10 count line, which is this light blue line right here. Um, potentially as support and bounce off it. That's currently right around $8,200 or so. Um, the Kijun line, which is this yellow right here, is right around $7,800, $7,900. And I don't really want to think about going that low yet, but I'm hoping we bounce off the Tenkan right here. All right. Uh, as per the pivots in the chart, if you are simply a pivots trader, um, let's see how that's looking. Okay. And let's throw on the Bollinger Bands just, you know, for fun. Okay. So Bollinger Bands are pretty wide, right? Um, we're also coming very close to the middle band right here. Typically, you know, Price likes to see uh, that band act as support um, and potentially get a small bounce off it. So again, that's right around $8,300 or so. All right, so we could get a potential bounce off that, like I stated earlier in the one hour chart. Um, overall, what I do see is, you know, the sell side volume is still declining right here, as you can see. Okay, so um, if we were to take that under the assumption of, you know, sellers getting exhausted, even pushing this price down, like I said, we should be coming close to at least a temporary bounce. Okay, um, let's see, as per pivots, um, we still have another, you know, 10, 12 hours left in the day. So if this R2 pivot cracks, like I said, we should be looking towards that R3, which is around 79 hundred dollars or so that's just if you're you're a pivots trader okay um that's the daily chart on the four hour okay we've definitely cracked under the uh four hour pivot right and the s1 currently resides around eighty one hundred dollars or so okay so if you are taking a short your short stop should be above this area maybe 8850 or a bit closer around um 8720 and you can take that trade down to eighty one hundred dollars okay but be careful, like I said, for all we know, we could go something like this and then reverse back down, okay? All right, folks, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to wrap up and do a quick analysis. I hope you all enjoy the content. I'll be back doing um, video um, in my YouTube videos because I do want to show my face. I do want to get more comfortable with it. Um, it's just that whenever I show my face right now, it looks like my laptop is not able to take the sound in properly. And because I now live in Colombia, the electronic stores don't really have the best mics. So I'm waiting to order it from uh, international from the US um, and get a nice mic, okay? So anyway, folks, uh, thank you so much again. Please do take advantage of the 50% discount. Uh, there's a Discord link below where you can just simply join for free if you want in the community discussion area. Hang out there, chat with us, share your ideas, uh, share your thoughts. And I'll see you all soon. All right. Good luck trading. Hope you all make some gains like we are. And I'll talk to you all soon. Okay. Cheers.